Is it nice? Nice? What a way to start the morning being stared at by a cold fish. I never looked at you. <laughs> Not you, you idiot. This apology for a kipper here. Yeah, well, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I reckon they didn't need to smoke this, but the colour of it, it died of nicotine poisoning. <laughs> oh, stop moaning. You isn't Stan having any breakfast this morning? Not if he's got any sense. Well, you don't have to eat it if you don't want to. I don't intend to. Well, don't. Mum! What? You've got a clean pair of underpants for me. What do you want them for? Because I've got a blessed medical down at the depot, haven't I? Oh, oh, oh hello. hello, love. Oh, I'll see you're ready for the medical then, Stan. Oh, blimey, don't you start. Oh, cheer up, mate. You'll be a bit of a skive. Now, what are you worried about? Be a bit of fun. I wouldn't be too sure about that. <laughs> what do you mean? We had a medical down that place not so long ago. Young fella there, not unlike you, Stanley. Just as healthy looking, had his medical. Month later, dead as that kipper there. <laughs> and of a very similar colour. You trying to frighten me? Well, I tell you something, mate, you're wasting your time. No, it's not that. It's not, I just don't fancy being mauled about by some decrepit old doctor. Blake. Oh, sir. Everything's prepared for the medical. Uh, doctor's arrived, canteen's ready, there's a list of people for examination. Oh, wouldn't fancy the doctor's job this morning, sir. <laughs> fancy having to look at this horrible lot, eh? Butler, Harper, Blake and... <laughs> Blake, sir? <laughs> That's my name, sir. That's right. But I'm an inspector, sir. No one is exempt. Well, don't mind me saying so, sir, but uh, I don't see your name down here, sir. No, it's quite correct. I'm on the afternoon list. Management, you know. Yes, sir, but... Apart from the fact that it undermines my authority to be examined in front of the rank and file, sir, you seem to have overlooked the fact that I have applied for another job with another company, sir. Yes, I know about that. They uh, consulted me with regard to your references. Oh, did they, sir? They indeed, they did. I think I can safely say that I shall be sorry to see you go. Well, I'll be sorry to go, sir, but uh, when is a chance of promotion? You know? well, I appreciate that. One must move on to pastures new. Yes, sir. Well, I, I think I'll get the job, sir. I... Be more or less told, I will, sir. Mm, I believe you will. Hey, no, sir, I, you misunderstand, sir. I mean, uh, there's no point, you see. I'll, I'll be having a medical when I take up my new appointment, sir. There's no point in being examined here, sir. The rules state quite categorically that all employees will be examined without exception. Yeah, but couldn't you have a look at the files yourself, sir? I mean, don't mind the rules, sir. Don't mind the rules. Oh, I didn't mean that, sir. <laughs> i tell you what I'll do. I'll have a quiet word with the doctor. I can't say fairer than that, can I? Thank you, sir. That's right. Carry on, Blake. Leave it to me. Don't mind the rules. <laughs> <laughs> right mind, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Here, get a fag, will you, mate? Yeah, sure. Come on, you two love us. What are you hanging about for? Well, we're waiting for our medical, aren't we? Well, it's not here, you idiot, is it? It's in the canteen. Look, mate, I don't care if I don't have a medical. You definitely do have to have a medical, mate. There's only one person compelled here not to have a medical, and that's yours truly. Oh, blimey, you look as if you need a medical more than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we need a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. You don't look as though you've got too long to go. Yeah, what do you mean by that remark? Well, let's put it this way. If it was a second-hand car, we wouldn't get much for you for scrap. <laughs> Twit. <laughs> There's certain cases in which a medical examination is unnecessary. I am such a case. Blimey, well, you're a case, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you pair of ignorant specimens. I'm not going to pay any words with you. I'm an inspector. Now, you get in there and get your trousers down. <laughs> I always thought it was very funny when you were Blake. I've had a word in the right quarter. Oh, it's all settled in, is it, sir? Yes. You've got to take the medical. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I had a word with the doctor, but as I warned you, rules are rules, fair enough. No, no, sir. I mean, there's no point. I'll be leaving soon. I don't see why you're objecting. No, sir, because your management, anyway, you've never had to suffer the humiliation of having to have a medical examination in front of Butler and Arthur with them standing there laughing at you. Get a grip of yourself, man. They don't laugh at you, do they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, what are you hanging about for? Get on with it. You can't make it spin out all day, you know? Go. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, Jack. Oh, look at this lot here. Oh, 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 oh. hey, mate. I don't fancy your charges, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a butcher's shop in here. Yeah, what a lot, eh? The Depot's Arch at old Calcutta. <laughs> is this where the medical is? The medical? Yeah, that's right, darling. Yeah, see, well, you've got to get stripped off to the waist. What? All of us? Yes, yeah, well, you see, the doctor, he's uh, going to examine our chests. Yeah, so get him off, lad. Come on, get him off. But <laughs> you're all men. Oh. Oh, oh so we are, oh. yeah. Well, uh, 
Well, more or less, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in here? I've come for me medical. Yeah, she's just about to strip off, Blackie. Is she? Yeah, but you're a woman. It's marvellous, eh? He knows the facts of life. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're not having your medical till tomorrow now. Come on, get out of it. I can't have you upsetting all my men. That's all right, Blackie. We don't mind. Get out of it. <laughs> come and shove up a bit, will you? Shove up before. I've come in here to keep an eye on things. That's what. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something, mate. If it hadn't been for you, me and Jack would have kept our eye on one or two other things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind getting your jacket on and going out, please, miss? Hey, haven't you got nothing better to do? No. As a matter of fact, I think I'll have a medical after all. Uh, oh, so that's why you're here, is I it? knew you had to have one. Oh, yeah, Stan, looks like we're going to get our laugh after all. Well, <laughs> 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 come on, then. Come on, what? Come on, get them off. No. Come, come on, on. Set the body come beautiful, on. mate. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, get him off. He strips well. Oh, what a guy. Oh, what a guy. Oh, what a guy. Oh, what a guy. What are you doing with your hat on? You're frightened to get a cold in your head? <laughs> that is there to remind you that I am still your superior. Is that a fact? We can do it better than that. Let's put your medals on you then, mate. <laughs> 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 Can we have the first gentleman, please, uh, Mr. Butler? Butler? Oh, that's me, Miss That's right. right. Mm -hmm. See you later then. Uh, hey, Jack, I tell him. Where are you going? I'm coming with you. <laughs> what, in there? Yes. Uh, what, will I be examined? I shall be assisting the doctor. Well, I'm sorry, Miss, but I don't have young ladies in there while I'm, uh, while I'm taking my trousers off, you know. <laughs> I'm a trained nurse. What's the matter, Stan? A bit shy, are you? Mind your own business. Hey, a nurse. You'll be welcome to have a look when it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> if you really prefer it, I'm sure the doctor can manage without me. Yes, well, I would really, darling. Thanks very much. Very well. That's, that's quite a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Appreciate that. <clears throat> that's right, Mr. Buck. Can I take your trousers down, please? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jack, get a move on. Ah, shush. We don't want Harry. We don't want to take our bus out this morning, do we? What are you whispering for? Shh. Blanky's in there, isn't he? Oh. Here, come on, let's have a peek at him with his trousers down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, I'm bearing up pretty well, considering, Doctor. <laughs> you know I think this is a, a waste of time, don't you? Yes, I know. You think it's pointless. Yeah. Yeah, well, it is, isn't it? I mean, to say you know my days here are numbered. Yes, I'm sorry. Still, it's worth having this checkup, even though you won't be with us much longer. I don't see the point. I can't see the point at all. I mean, after all, I won't be here when the report comes out, will I? Oh, let's hope so. Oh, I don't know. Well, I've been suffering lately. I think I'll be glad to get out of this misery. Yeah, see what she said? Yeah. She said he won't be with us much longer. Yeah, he said his days here are numbered. Yeah. Yeah, you're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? Shh, shh, listen, listen, listen. Doctor, uh, you know, uh, I haven't told anyone yet, and I'd, uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, kept it to yourself, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, uh, mind you, they'll be glad when I'm gone out of it. Well, I think you ought to tell them. They might be upset. I'm sure they'll be upset. What? No, they won't miss me. They'll be glad when I'm gone, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Particularly Butler and Arthur. <laughs> Here, Jack. It sounds as though old Blake is going to snuff it. Yeah, he's a goner. <laughs> here, come here. 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 What, what, what are we going to do? Well, put him on a number 11 at the cemetery gates. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Mate! No, I, I admire his guts the way he's taken it. Yeah, and all those things you said about him. Yeah. What I said? All the things you... <coughs> all the things you said about him. Well... Poor old Blakey. Yeah, poor old Dracula. No, don't call him that now. Well, he was a bad sort of a bloke. No, no, you can look. No, we, don't forget, we could have had worse, mate. Mm. Do you know what, Jack? From now on, I'm, I'm going to be as nice as possible to him for the, to the last few days he's got left in this world. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jack. Let's get the bus out on time. Aye? <laughs> well, oh, we had a cup of tea, of course. Oh, that's better. <laughs>
Well, I ain't gonna ask him. Well, I don't know. I'll have to play it by ear, won't I? But remember, Jack, if he's bad-tempered, it's because he's in very great pain. Oh, that's why it's so horrible. I thought it was his nature. <laughs> that's up, that's up. Here he is, there he is, there he is. <laughs> Come on, you see, we're hanging about for you. Do out, you know you are. All right. Don't get excited, Blakey. Don't get excited. <laughs> get the bus out. <laughs> look at him. What do you look like? You look like a couple of undertakers just found a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blakey, don't talk like that. I talk how I like. Get the bus out. Well, Blakey, tell you the truth, I, uh, I, I want to know if you'd like to come round my house to tea. Get out of it. No, no, no. He means it, Blakey. Honest. Yes, yeah, yes. What for? Well, I, um. Uh, I'd like us to be friends. You see, and I, that's why I like you to come home and have tea with me and my family at, at my house tonight. Is it free? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it. Well, of course it's a free tea. Oh. All right. All right. I tell you what. Uh, I'll give it a child, Butler. After I finish my last shift, I'll come round. Okay. <laughs> now get the bus out. <laughs> <laughs> There, that looks lovely. Now the yeah. inspector can sit there. Right. Yes, and I've prepared something easy to digest. Lovely white boiled fish and semolina. What's for afters? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you think of anything but your belly? <coughs> look, will you two shut up? Now look, you'll be here any minute now. Now, now when he arrives, act normal. Yes. Do you understand what Sam? I mean, Arthur, oh, you're paying attention. Oh. Act normal. Don't let him see because he doesn't know we know, right? I mean, we don't want to upset him just because he's gonna die. Just because he's gonna die? I'd be upset if it was me. Well, of course you'd be upset. He is. <laughs> well, blow it, that's why we mustn't say anything. Now, don't forget, not another word about it. Quite right. Not another word. No. Here, what exactly is wrong with him? I don't know, Mum, but he's a goner. Oh, if he's a goner, it must be serious. My goodness, we have a genius in the family. <laughs> well, all I can say is that if he goes tonight, he'll have finished on a lovely meal. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. I mean, how much we all like white boiled fish. Yes, especially in Valise. Well, I don't. Well, you're not dying. And that was so selfish. Anyway, it's the inspector's party tonight. Yes, well. Look, he'll be here shortly. Now, don't you think you two had better go and get changed? Oh, yes, go on. Well, play the oh, game, right. Well, right. Oh, right. All right. Oh, love. Don't get changed. I've got some lovely flowers. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. good, Mum. Now, look nice on the table, then. Yes, right, lovely. Get them, then. Now, now, the, the only thing was, love, yeah. that when I was talking to the florist about the expector, yeah. I don't think they quite understood, love, because... Well... You... They... well... <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead yet. <laughs> well, I know, love, but you see, they made such a lovely job of him. I didn't want to take him back. Anyway, love, it's the thought that counts. Mum, we're supposed to cheer him up. What to remind him about it? Oh. I suppose you've ordered a nurse to take him home. Oh, don't <laughs> joke. Anyway, what am I going to do with them? Well, save it for the funeral. Oh, there's a doorbell. That'll be him. No, yes, oh, uh, no, no, um, no, I've got to get a bucket of coal, Mum. No, 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 you haven't got a bucket of coal. There's a bucket of coal there. Yeah. Now, you go and let him in. Yes, right. Well, don't stand there. You'll catch his death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good evening, Blakey. Oh, I've come straight from work, as I said. Yeah. Oh, I thought you would, but don't stand there. You look frozen stiff. I mean, uh, <laughs> come in. He must be cold. Yes. <laughs> Perishing out there. Yes. Right, uh, take the coat and uh, come in. It's warm in here. <laughs> oh, we put it on there for now. Shall we? <laughs> come in. Uh, Mum, Mum, yes? the inspector's arrived. Oh, I'm just finishing off up here, love. Here, put another bucket of coal on the fire. There's a good boy. Yeah, I will. Uh, come and warm yourself, uh, Blakey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit cold, eh? No, no, Blakey. No, don't, no, don't stand there. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Blakey just kicked the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you'd gone. Gone? I've oh, only well, just got here. Are <laughs> <laughs> you taking me a fright? You're all right, Mrs. Butler. Hey. She don't look too well, does she? You go get a doctor. No, no, she's all right. She's very well. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, we're all very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so am I. Yes, I'm uh, as fit as a proverbial fiddle. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> mum, 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 mum. You look wonderful, Inspector. <laughs> yes, you couldn't look better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll play. 
please don't get up. Please don't. <laughs> How are you feeling now, Mr. Blake? Oh, fine, thanks. Yes. My words, you do look well. Yes. Yes, quite in the pink. Terrific, eh, Olive? What? I was saying how well the inspector looked. Oh, yeah. Yes, really well. Yes. Mm. My word, I, I can't remember when I saw you looking so well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Arthur, he doesn't look as well as all that. <laughs> well, well, what I meant was he doesn't look sort of uh, obviously well. <laughs> Just sort of uh, normal well. Like, uh, uh, well, uh, very well. <clears throat> <clears throat> well? How are things down at the depot, Inspector? Well, pretty well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same old routine, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same old route, eh, Blakey? Yeah, yeah. Out of the depot, straight down to the cemetery gates. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mum, how about some grub before we all die of hunger? Oh, yes! <laughs> Ollie, come and get the food. Yes, um, uh, you sit at the end of the table next uh, to Mum. Uh, uh, let, uh, let, let me help. Let me yes, help. Yes, you help me, Martha, would you? <laughs> yes, lovely. Uh, you sit there, Arthur. Right. Yes. Now. Here we are, some lovely, nice, white boiled fish. Just what the doctor ordered. Yes, uh, it looks uh, quite palatable. Uh, yes, I cooked it in your honour. I, I don't know how to thank you. Oh. All of you, really. I'm, I'm quite overcome by this display of kindness. I, I must say, it, you know, uh, you couldn't have known, of course, but I won't be around much longer. <laughs> yes, uh, I won't be with you much longer, you know. Yes, me, me days amongst you are numbered. <laughs> oh, no, it, it can't be true. Oh, yes, yes, well, uh, one must go on to pastures and you. <laughs> well, all I can say is that uh, we'll all miss you very much. Here, here. <laughs> It's a funny old world, isn't it, Amos? Oh, yes. yeah. You never know who your real friends are, do you? Yeah. I thought they'd be glad to see the back of me. <gasps> I did. I will tell you, and I'll confess this. This morning, I told the doctor down at the depot, I said, I think that some of them will be glad to see the back of me, particularly oh. Butler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shocking thing to say. <laughs> no, you're dead wrong. <laughs> 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 what, I, what I mean to say is that uh, uh, we, we admire you for taking it the way you're leaving so bravely. <laughs> you're not brave about it. I can't hang on forever, can I? Oh. <laughs> I would like to shake you by the hand, Mr Black. <laughs> Going on. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, uh, we're all so sad about the news, and uh, I'll uh, do my best to make your days, few days at the depot, as happy as possible. It's a very noble sentiment, Stanley. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. I can't stand it. No. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't think you'd all be so affected. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I'll, uh, with any luck, I'll, I'll be around in a few weeks to come. Oh, well, eat up your fish, then. It's full of vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there you are, fellas, so now you know the old truth. <laughs> well... I'm not surprised. I always said he was a sick man. Yeah, well, the point is, Stan and me thought we ought to have a whip round to buy him a present. Well, Stan did. I'm not all that fussy myself. Well, he's not going to be around long to enjoy it, is he? Yes, yes, you've got a point there. Yeah, well, we've got to buy him a present to suit the occasion. Well, what about a harp? Oh, no, be serious. <laughs> no, you're probably right. He won't be going up there anyway. No. <laughs> Check, you've got to be charitable, haven't you? Think of something sensible. Yeah, all right, yeah. How about getting in something on a couple of months' approval? Then when he stuffs it, we can send it back and it won't cost us a penny. <laughs> well, blimey, I've heard of mean people, but you take the cake. No, no, no. Seriously, look, uh, let's rent him a telly. Then when he dies, we can shove it in the canteen and that way we all get something out of it. I'm absolutely ashamed of you, mate. I really am. It's got to be something personal, isn't it? Look, you do the whip round, I'll buy the present. There's only one thing that's worrying me, though. What's that? Ooh, how the hell are we going to tell him? What do you right. mean? What do you mean? Well, I can't just bowl up to him and say, uh, excuse me, Blakey, but do you mind telling us uh, the exact day you're going to pass over so we can give you a present? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got a good <laughs> point there. Tell you what, let's not give him anything. <laughs> oh, blimey, mate. Haven't you got any respect at all? I'll like, tell you what I'll do. I'll go straight in and see the doc doctor and find out the exact day he's going to snuff it. <laughs> Thank you. You can put your coat on now. <coughs> <clears throat> yes? Excuse me, Doctor. Uh, 
I'd like to ask you a question. Really? Yeah. Well, you'll have to be quick because the ladies are coming in for their medical soon. Oh, they really? Yes. <laughs> so hurry up now. What is it? Oh, yes. Uh, I'd like to ask you uh, a, a question about uh, our inspector. Which inspector? Well, in Inspector Blake, of course. We want to know what's wrong with him. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with him. Oh, come, come, Doctor. It's all right. You can, uh, you can tell me. No, I can't. And I can't discuss my patients with you or anyone. Oh. Oh, Doctor. Oh, I've got a terrible pain. You must do something for me. Oh, Blakey, come in. Come in. <laughs> Blakey, sit down. Sit down, Blakey. Go out of it. No, sit down. Would you down. mind leaving us? Yes, of course, Doctor. Oh, I understand, Blakey. Keep your chin up. Clear off. <laughs> Now, what seems to be the trouble? Oh, I think it must have been that fish I had down in the butler's last night. <laughs> no wonder none of them would touch it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, fellas, right. right. Here we are. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not very good at making speeches, as you all know, but there is a few little words I've jotted down here I would like to say before he leaves us, and that is that uh, we all have heard the sad news, we've all have heard it by now, but I would like to say as an example to us all, and uh, when the way is accepted, what must inevitably be um, inevitable. It is a very sad occasion, that, but, but Blakey, Blakey, the lads and boys and girls, we've all whipped round and we've got you a nice present of some nice clean fruit. <laughs> now, but, but, but. Before we present you with it, boys and girls, how about a nice big hand for Blakey? I've not always been happy here. There's ones or twos here that's conspired together to make my life a misery. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've always looked forward to this as a moment of happy release. However, I've been so overwhelmed by the loyalty and kindness and affection that I've been shown since the news got around that I was leaving, that after careful consideration, I decided not to leave. <laughs> not going. Um, uh, well, I don't want to upset you, Blakey, but, uh, but, you know, when you were called, you were called. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, it was never finally settled that I was actually going, no. What do you mean? Well, I've not had the final interview yet. Stan, I think we've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> uh, Blakey, what are you trying to say? You are absolutely healthy? Of course I'm healthy. There's nothing wrong with you at all? No. You've got the cheek to stand there and tell us you're not going to snuff it? Snuff <laughs> it? I've got no intention of snuffing it, mate. I never felt healthier in my life. Since I got over the effects of that rotten fish I had around your place last night, but... So if you don't mind, let me have that fruit and you can all get back to work out of it. Oh, you want the fruit, you can have it, mate. Oh.